welcome back to our channel. So we are going to the Hollywood Bowl today. Um, it's been probably like four years since we've been to the Hollywood Bowl, um, but uh, Pentatonics are playing tonight and Darren Chris playing. I say playing, but they're, they're singing. <laughs> they're an acapella group. Um, I really like them. So uh, yes, yeah, so we decided to come. It's a Thursday night and we're gonna go have some fun at the Hollywood Bowl. Join us. Here we are, the Hollywood Bowl. We are in and we're gonna go find some food. Where should we go? All right, so we have about an hour till the show starts and um, we're trying to decide what to eat. They have a lot of options. Let's look around. We have popcorn, snacks. What else do we have? Kitchen 22. So they have burgers. Marketplace, mm -hmm. shop, barbecue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So the signs are okay. ordered here. So oh, we're gonna try to order here. Okay, margarita pizza or pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni. All right, here we are. We found our seats. We are, as you can see, way in the back. Like behind us, it's just hills. <laughs> we got the cheap seats, but um, but we can see everything from here. And we got our pizza. We have pizza here and a drink. So we're gonna do that um, and probably get some popcorn later for the show. Um, I want you guys to see what we see. So, so as you can see, they have the ball. You can see the Hollywood sign behind it. Just a really nice atmosphere. There's like nobody sitting around us, hardly. Um, so yeah, here we are at the Hollywood Bowl. I'm excited to enjoy the
okay for this one. Guess mine, guess mine is not the first heartbroken. My eyes are not the first, not the first to cry. Not the first to know. It's just no getting known. I know I'm just a fool who's willing to sit around, sit around and wait for you. But baby, can't you see? There's nothing left for me. I hear the sneers and feel the glares of my cousin, my uncle, and my aunt. I can't believe how cruel they are, and it stings my lightning scarred. And oh, they'll never, ever give me what I want. I know I don't deserve these stupid rules made by the Dursleys here on Private Drive. Can't take all of these muggles. But despite all of my struggles, I'm still alive. All right, you know what? Let's just do it. It's the Hollywood Bowl. Why not? For those of you that don't know what's going on, that's going to be extra fun for you. Three, four. I'm sick of summer and this waiting around. And it's September, so I'm skipping this town. Hey, it's no mystery. There's nothing here for me now. I gotta get back to home. Thank you. 
we're just so honored to be on this iconic stage in front of you guys. And I guess we'll introduce ourselves. Over here, every beat you hear is from our beatboxer, Kevin Alicia. We have the gorgeous, the iconic, Kirsten Maldonado, everyone. Stunning. We have the one of a kind, angel voice, Mitchell Grassi. Hi. Our bass man, every bass line you hear is coming out of this name. His name is Matt Salee. And my name is Scott Hoing, and I am the baritone of the group. And we are Pentatonics at the Hollywood Bowl. Crazy. Crazy. Thank you guys. Alright, so there's gonna be a lot of singing happening tonight, so I'm thinking, well, we're gonna want you to sing along with every song that you know the words to. So let's get warmed up. You wanna get warmed up? One, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, one, two, three. exactly to this Hollywood Bowl stage with you guys right now and it's just been crazy. So, is anyone an OG sing-off fan? Wow. Why is there a couch on stage? It's because... It's because we're humble. <laughs> because we're tired. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, we, we love to sit. Down, honey. <laughs> um, we used to do all our early YouTube videos uh, in our living rooms. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But before then, we all... Oh, this is my cue to take it over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But that wasn't the start. The start was... Okay, the start. We're going to tell the story of Pentatonix really quick for the people who got dragged here by their girlfriends or something. <laughs> so, we'll call it Evolution of Pentatonix, if you will. And we're going to start at the... Start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. <laughs> that actually was not planned, so... Yeah. Um, the first song... <laughs> The very first song that we ever arranged in Pentatonix was called Telephone, and uh, it was our audition song for the sing-off, so we're going to do a little snippet of that. kind of where we honed our sound and cultivated it and so a lot of our um, sort of trademark pentatonic C sounds came from that era uh, of our of our career like these next few oh, you're an alien. You're Kill the radio star. You are 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 the radio star. You
decided to make a YouTube channel. And like I said, we all, well, we all live in the same apartment complex, so we rehearsed like every day, would knock on each other's doors if we were late, me. Be like, come on, it's rehearsal time. And um, we started doing videos, and it was all in our living room setup. And our very first one that went viral was this next song. But one of the types of videos that we loved doing were these evolution videos. I don't know if any of you guys have seen them. Oh, it's a lot. We did a ton like Evolution of Rihanna, but the first one that we ever did was an evolution of music where we started from literally Gregorian chants up to now. So we thought we'd do a, a little bit of, of a snippet of that. About halfway videos. through the timeline. Yeah, let's do this. This is good. This is good. <laughs> He was a famous drummer man from Mount Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He's in the army now, I'm going rapidly. He's a boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, Oh my gosh. That's, that's so cool. Let's unhue it. Oh, oh, it looks like it was taken on an iPhone Zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's crazy. I know, honestly, so, okay, so that's our story. Now that we're caught up, we've also done original music and we wrote a song about that whole story and how lucky we feel to be here. I love you when I don't. And the first, <laughs> the, um, the first video that came up just happened to be viral that week, and it was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing at the same time, both very hard things to do, simultaneously, in his dorm room. And so I had never YouTube messaged someone before, but I literally was like, DM, dear Kevin, do you want to fly to LA and audition for the show with us? And he was like, I am at Yale right now, about to graduate pre-med. I was like, what's it like? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Um, and uh, he, yeah, and he was also like living in China for a year. I'll let, you, I'll let him tell the story. But anyways, I was like, do you want to come join this group? And two weeks, he said, I'm too busy. And then two weeks later, he was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And he flew across the country after his finals and auditioned for the show. The rest is history. And... I'll, let, I'll leave it to the imagination what his parents said when he said he was going to not be a doctor and be a beatboxer instead. <laughs> but anyways, he's going to demonstrate his, what he calls, cello boxing for you tonight. Kevin Alicia, everyone! Well, this is such a surreal night. Thank y'all so much for coming out. We love y'all and appreciate y'all. This is just too surreal to be true. Thank you. Now, I want to tell y'all a little story. I want you to picture a young 22-year-old Kevin Alushala. I'm pre-med, I'm literally a senior at Yale, and I'm also practicing 
Wait, is there a picture up there? Okay, I don't know why I always took pictures literally in bathrooms. That's weird, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, <laughs> and I'm practicing cello in my dorm room. And one of my friends named Jake Bruin, Jake comes to me, he's listening to the piece that I'm practicing, and he says, have you ever thought about putting this up on YouTube? So we literally go to our old dingy basement in our college. He brings a video camera, and this is the piece that I play for him. Thank you. So that piece is called Julio, and that's the piece that my friend recorded that went viral on YouTube, and that's how the band found me. And the, the, the technique that I was using is called cello boxing, where I play cello and beatbox at the same time. But the way I play now is definitely not the way that I started. Like Scott said, I was introduced to the idea while I was living in Beijing, China, studying Chinese. One of my Chinese teachers asked me, and I'm gonna say this in Chinese, everybody, Verify that with the Chinese friend, because I could have said absolutely nothing just now. I could have said absolutely nothing. But what she said was, have you ever thought about taking the cello and beatboxing and putting them together? And of course not. That's like the craziest thing. Who's going to take cello and beatbox and put it together? That makes no sense. But truly, I was really, really intrigued by it and I knew that I had, to, I had to pursue it. So the way that I started was very simple. Just simple scales, simple beats, just like this. Thank you. And then I just complicated the beats with those simple scales. So for example, And then I actually worked with rappers on campus who wanted me to provide a groove for them while they were, while they were rapping. So a sample cello boxing beat I would do for them sounds something like this. And then I just continued developing and developing until I could finally play a piece like Julio. So since then, I've written cello boxing originals, like a, a song called Renegade that's on my YouTube channel, but one of my, okay, OG friends, what's up? <laughs> but now, one of my favorite things to do is take a classical piece and reinvent it my way. So I thought tonight I'd play just an excerpt of the prelude from the Bach Cello Suite number one. And, uh, <laughs> This one's super special to me because tonight my, my wife, Lee, is here. And, <laughs> thank you. And the first time she ever saw me, literally laid eyes on me, was in 2017 when Pentatonix first played the ball. And tonight she's brought our daughter, Kaya, who's 18 months. <laughs> and this is her first ever, ever concert. And so, to Lee, my wife, wherever you are, because there's too many people I can't see. <laughs> I love you with my heart and soul. And, and to Kaya, you know that dad that loves you. Oh, that's my daughter. Let's go. There she is. <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> you know that dad that loves you very, very much. And so I dedicate this to you.
happy to put it on our latest Christmas album and um, it's called prayers for this world and it's about wanting the world to be a better place and all coming together and unifying to make it that and it's our first time performing it live so I hope you guys enjoy it here we go
for life. Oh, oh. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside, and I can't break through. There's no talking to you.
Thank you guys so much. We'll see you later.
Thank you. And um, it's just about love and that person that you care for who makes you feel amazing. And so, hope you guys love me.
Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, you guys, this has just been such a special evening. Thank you for coming out tonight. We have one more song. And um, I have no doubt in my mind that you know all the words and music notes to the song, so please sing along. And have a fabulous evening. We love you. We love you so much. Yeah, thank you. Love you. Give it up for the amazing choir. Thank you, God. Thank you guys so much. This is such a dream come true. Be safe getting home. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening. Get home safe. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night, you guys.